Hi, I'm Aves Khan. Um, today I'm speaking with Kevin Ceres, who's the CEO of Sears Materials. Kevin, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you uh, for having me. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about Sears Materials, what do you do, and what the products are, and how do you play in the green space? Yeah, Sears Materials is, uh, is focused on clean tech and clean tech building materials. Uh, specifically, uh, really high-tech solutions to the climate change problem. It turns out uh, that most people don't realize on a worldwide basis, 52% of the CO2 that is generated from our energy comes from buildings, about 12% from uh, making the building materials every year, and 40% from operating our buildings, and only 9% is cars. So all this hundreds of billions of dollars has been spent already on uh, alternative fuels for cars, which mm. is interesting, but it's only 9% of the problem. So we're trying to attack the other 52% in a very serious way. So when you say a serious way, what exactly, what are the products that you're producing? It's great. We, well, we have uh, some 24 products in the market today coming from uh, three factories, uh, two in California, one in Colorado, and uh, one going up in upstate New York, which will be our fourth. Uh, but let me talk about two major products sure. that, that probably get uh, most of the press these days. Uh, the first is our EcoRock, uh, what we call zero CO2 drywall or low CO2 drywall. The manufacturer drywall generates a lot of CO2 and it's manufactured. It's an old process. Mm -hmm. It's a good process, but it's just an energy intensive process. We've developed a process to replace that process that is not energy intensive at all. It uses virtually zero energy in the manufacturing of the product. The other one, and that addresses that 12% we talked about of making building materials. The, the other big one that's getting a lot of press these days is our thermoproof windows. And thermoproof windows are soon to be released. Uh, but if you think about uh, the R value of your walls, the R value is how you measure how much heat goes through your walls, sure. how much heat is lost, right, in the winter yeah, or whatever. Yeah. The R value of your walls is typically 13 or 15 if you've insulated them, numbers like that. But our windows, something that's not published, our windows are one, two, or three. In fact, R3 is about the best dual pane low E window you can buy. And, uh, and people don't even want to talk about full frame R values because they're so bad, one or two. So when people say all the heat goes out my windows, they really mean all the heat is going out the window. We've got windows coming out that have the same insulative value as your walls, R13, R15, numbers like that. Um, and so you could save 30 or 40 or up to 50% of your heating and cooling bill uh, in both commercial and residential. This is a, this is a, a break, complete breakthrough in, in uh, frankly, window science. And not Microsoft sure. window science, sure. but window science. Sure. I mean, one of the challenges a lot of the new companies in this space face is to fit in the existing ecosystem, right? Um, you, you mentioned you're building plants and factories. Uh, how, what are your challenges of fitting in the existing building infrastructure? That, that is a spectacular question because yeah. it, is, it is probably the biggest issue that people have. When we make our windows, they have to install, look, smell, and feel like any other window. Even though they're, it's a completely different frame technology, it's mm -hmm. a completely different glass technology, the people installing it can't look at it as something new. They just have to put it in. Same with our drywall. All of our drywall products, whether it's Quiet Rock or Eco Rock or others, have to look, smell, and feel like regular drywall, have to paint the same and hang the same, or else you're dead. That's yeah. number one. Number two, you've got to use the existing building channels. Sure. We've got over a thousand dealers that carry our products today throughout the country. These are all wholesale building supply houses that supply your contractors, whether you're mm -hmm. residential or or commercial, and you have to fit into that ecosystem. And it takes a lot of years to do that, but we've been uh, fortunate enough to have a great team to do it. Sure. Now, you're planning to expand internationally too, or are you just primarily in the you know, ab market? Absolutely. I mean, especially when you look at the building boom in the Middle East and, uh, yeah. and uh, China, uh, I think there's no way we can avoid uh, being a player uh, when. Uh, I just heard this figure last week. It's some, somewhere between four and five trillion dollars of committed build in the Middle East alone over the next ten years or so. You can't walk away from five I trillion. I, yeah. uh, so, someone who's uh, uh, you know doesn't even know what they're doing should yeah. be able to extract some dollars yeah. out of five trillion, especially with great products. I read a number somewhere that said that the two thirds of the world's construction cranes are actually based in China and Dubai combined. Uh, I think that's true. Yeah. Yes. So, so yes. I'm sure it's a great market you can have. Well, look, the U.S. had its building boom arguably in the 30s and 40s. And it's not that we don't build a lot today, and it's not that we're not building green, because green building or LEED certified building yeah. is huge, and that's, the, that's our target market. But we can't forget about outside this country. They're just going through their building boom, and we have a chance to help them build correctly and save 50 or 75 percent, ultimately, of all their energy sure. in their buildings, as opposed to building the old way we did sure. in the 30s and 40s. So one of the things that actually caught my attention quite a bit when I looked in, on your website was you plan to save 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions. Um, so what's the time frame of that, and when do you think you're going to be able to... That's a great to, question. To Look, that's going to take us yeah. a decade or more. We've already <coughs> identified with some of our technologies 
uh, the ability to attack over a billion tons annually. Um, again, since, since buildings or the built environment is ultimately responsible for 52% of the CO2, energy-based CO2 released worldwide, um, that is the play. I mean, the play is buildings. And, uh, and so it may take us a decade to get that many products out there in that many nationalities and that many localities, but, uh, but we certainly have the opportunity to do that. And, and we would challenge all companies to put a, uh, a carbon target on what they're trying to achieve in green because it's very easy to say we're green with a low VOC paint yeah, or an yeah. interesting carpet. It's another thing to say, no, we're going to save the world this much carbon dioxide every year on an annual basis. It may take us some time to get there. Mm -hmm. That's our corporate mission. That's our goal. Well, uh, I'm a base con. Um, I interviewed Kevin Sirius of Serious Materials. Um, it's a pleasure having you.